Good morning and welcome. It is Wednesday the 15th of June. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, first up, I really just, me and technology are falling out at the moment. So uh, before I get to anything else, I just need to explain to you that technology and me are uh, are not friends at the moment. Uh, so yeah, very frustrating. So uh, my laptop uh, recorded the first video, storage uh, was full, chucked it out. Um, YouTube downloads, like downloading videos um, or uploading videos, I should say, in the evening is it been an absolute nightmare. Yesterday, YouTube um, had a, a global issue where comments uh, disappeared off all videos. Um, so yeah, trying to get in the way here of, uh, of me getting out some information to you. So nothing's hopefully too uh, too time sensitive today. But uh, yeah, I've got today's best coming up. So. Just to be clear, you are here. If you are here, you're in the right video if you want the high risk staking plan, my usual video with multiple accumulators. That is that. If you want my full selections for Royal Ascot, including the singles and Win Trixie and the multiple accumulator, um, that is on the other video, my day two, Royal Ascot day two video. This is my standard channel where it's not just Royal Ascot and it is focusing on accumulators. We also have US Open Golf today. So as far as today goes, um, We'll do the review of yesterday in a minute. Um, I've then got £25 stake for the usual channel. That includes the £6 Lucky 15 that's already on the medium staking plan. So if you've done that already, there's 19 additional. And then for the golf, I've only done a £5 golf bet. I was umming and ahhing. Um, there was nothing I found enough to put together in the side market bets to do any sort of Lucky 15. So I've just got singles on US Open Golf. And... I just felt that from a value perspective, um, it, it was a bit of a funny market. And so I've, I've erred away from doing like even a £10 stake. So I've just done it as a £5 stake on singles on the golf because I think it was too open at the at the front. And then there's lots of value further down, um, but it, I don't want to chuck too many darts. So yeah, so £5 golf is all I've done this week. I've kept it small. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm happily... For the channel, I'd much rather focus our energy this week um, on the on the horses on Royal Ascot specifically um, and go easy on the golf. I know it's a major and therefore more people pay attention to it. But um, yeah, I'm not going to put bets out for the sake of it. So I'm going small on the golf this week. OK, yesterday. Um, so if you were on the medium staking plan, it was it was quids in because we made a nice £53 profit. However, if all you'd done was the normal bets on this channel, you would found yourself 1865 behind. So we had 30 on 11.35 back. So the Ascot bets for the accumulators were massively disappointing. We got a bit of saved mo bit of money back from other bits that I did, but the Ascot bets on, on this particular usual channel were a bit disappointing. Um, so let's just check, what did we have? Um, Oh, that's get my papers organised right. So we started off with this. All we had there was All Right Sunshine placed at 40 to 1. And then we had this and we had nothing. And then bet three, we just had Rashawn 16 to 1 place. <clears throat> and then this one, just a non runner. So of the 15 that ran, two place, that was it. So that's a really poor ratio by my usual standards. So that was massively disappointing. So I'm hoping everybody was on the win, Trixie, on the other video, because that was a good bet. Um, so what else did we have? We had this, I had a little go here, and it's almost came off. So the first leg, we had Captain Valo placed. And the last leg, as long as you did, as I advised, do Sky or Coral, willing to please, did place fourth. Then these two disappointed. So it was a couple of quid back for the place double if you did it with Sky or Coral, um, or nothing back if you didn't if you did it elsewhere. So it wasn't great shakes, but yeah, I was disappointed with those middle two. I know they were 33 to one, but I, I really felt they were worth a go. And then Roscommon almost saved us there with a little Irish saver bet. The first three all placed, and then Caradaddy wasn't quite close enough. I think it was seventh or sixth um, needed to be top four, so that would have would have made us profitable for the day if uh, if the fourth leg had placed and we'd have had a quad place, but we didn't quite get there. So thirty on eleven sixty five yesterday back on the usual channel. So um, yeah, it was the normal channel running. I think it's twenty one pound uh, loss uh, for the for the week for the first two days. So it's not a brilliant start at all. Tuesdays have been my nemesis, as most regular viewers know. For some reason, I seem to have a bit of a problem on a Tuesday. When I get to Thursday, it usually goes very well. Tuesdays, not so good. So Wednesday, we're in the middle of Tuesday. So this is average, average day Wednesday. Um, okay, today's bets. So 
this is a repeat. This is what's already on the medium stake and plan video. So if you've already put those bets on, this is included. And reminder for Ascot selections, I'm taking SP across the board. I'm not taking any price for the Ascot horses. I'm doing the SPs all the way through. So these are illustrative prices. That is bet one. So 2.30 Maria Branwell, five o'clock Fantastic Fox, 5.35 Chateau, 6.10 Improvised. Bet one. Um, then bet two, and we're going to do a little, a little cross doubles on the bigger prices on the two big field races. So this is definitely better with Sky Bet. So they're paying seven on that race and eight on that. So it's worth it with, with anyone, I would say. But Sky definitely going to trump it because these types of horses, those extra places might be very useful. So I'm going two thirty Omni Queen and Mayland and C on to five o'clock XL Power and Percy's Lad. So even two of these, like one in, one placing in each leg would be enough to make a little profit, but clearly we want a little bit more. So it's just a small little cross double on the bigger prices I'm gonna go with. So that's a pound sixty bet for bet two. Okay, and then the other three are lucky 15s, not all Ascot. So this is a completely Royal Ascot bet. 2.30 Yarsat, 3.05 Al Kareem, 5 o'clock Astro King, 6.10 Serenading. Um, it's, it's marginal where to put it on because for a couple of these races you get an extra place with Sky, the bottom one you get an extra place with Bet365 and you'll get best price guaranteed. I'm less worried about best prices at Royal Ascot to be honest, but so it, it, it's not. I wouldn't give you a strong signal about where best to place it. If you want the extra places on balance, as, putting it on with Sky Bet is better. Um, but different bookies are paying different places. So it's probably very marginal sky bet um, for bet three. Bet four, there's three Ascot and one Ripon, so watch out for that. So this is three at Ascot, five o'clock Totally Charming, 5.35 Union Court, 6.10 Neptune Rock, and the one Ripon horse there, Mrs. Bagaran, and I'm taking that 12 to one price. Um, it's when I did before I did the video. It's twelve o'clock, twelve o one across the board. Um, so SP'd on the other three, twelve to one, taking the price on Miss Bagaran, six forty Ripon. So that's another standard twenty p each way. Lucky fifteen. And then if it's all gone wrong, like we did last night, we had a Ross Common bet to save us. We've got a Wexford bet to try and save us. It's not a massive amount of value, but I still think it was just worth doing. So we've got 550 Chapel Street 13 to 2, paying four places most bookies. 625 Dixie Flyer 7 to 1, no extra places anywhere. 730 Sholsang 5 to 1, no extra places on that race. 8 o'clock, um, I think Sky, the only one paying four places. So if you've got the option of Sky, it might be helpful to have that fourth place. That being said, I would still would put the bet on elsewhere. But if you've got the option, it's probably just better to do that. Because these are no extra places, we'll get best price guaranteed, whatever book you put on the on the middle two anyway. So eight o'clock there, walk into what we took it last time. Um, so it's 18p each way, lucky 15 to finish off at Wexford. Okay, hopefully that is all clear, as I would normally say. Shove it in the comments if you've got any questions or queries about the bets or the selections. And then finally, US Open Golf. <clears throat> this is what I'm going with. As I said, <clears throat> kept it small this week um yeah i just yeah some days you just feel it and some you don't and and I've, i'm happy with what i've got here and i was happy that i'm small staking it so I'm, i've gone in the 10 place market so there are bookmakers i think betfair are paying 12 but the odds are a bit smaller um it all varies between 8 and 10 in most bookies but i've taken the 10 place market on sky bet for these prices so we've got two smaller ones, Max Homer 35 to 1 and Aaron Y 66 to 1. They're both 50p each way. And then I've got five much bigger ones. Denny McCarthy 200, Cameron Tringale 200, Harry, Harris English 200, Lucas Herbert 200 and Nick Hardy 250. And I've done those all as 30p each way. That is it. That's Mick Golf Bet. All right. That's me for now. I'll be back tonight for the full staking plan for day three and I will try my artist to get it uploaded earlier. Um, now I know it out, literally, it is, it's taking about half an hour to upload in the evening, it's a nightmare. Um, normally it would be like three, three, four minute job. Um, so 
Grand. I will be back tonight with a full staking plan for day three. Let's hope Ascot day two goes well and we are we're carrying on a nice trajectory and hopefully some of these accumulators will, will start turning a profit too. All right. Thanks very much. Enjoy your day. Cheerio.